let's go exploring a little bit. I'm here at the edge of the area that we manage so far and this is the way down to the wild area. There is a well down there and a few other things. People who have been following for a while already know this. This is uh, where we are still thinking about how we are going to proceed here. There is a lot of aromatic plants, which is why we want to be a little bit careful, because they have value. So my intention is now to drive down there and have a look how this area looks at the moment. Because it's an area that we visit very, very rarely. I just came from up there. And all this is part of our land, of the 45 hectares that we have. Um, the size of this unused area is probably a third of the whole surface area that we have here. And you can see there is another well. It does contain water, but I'm not eager to put the camera in there. <laughs> It is some eight meters deep before the water and then the last time that I was measuring it, it had three meters of water. And what you see down there is another seasonal creek, but I never have seen any water in it. But it is definitely moist. And you can see also by the presence of these plants there, that this is a little bit moister than elsewhere. And there is this idea to create a big pond here on the back side, basically where it's hidden away. There is a little bit of a pond-like thing there over at the neighbors, so behind our white fence posts. Um, I learned that they used to have a garden there. So there is something from the past and there is always standing water as we saw. And from the past is also this, so this is a piece of, piece of pipe um, related to this well because somewhere over there, there is a pig waterer from some of the previous owner. I would think the owner before the previous owner. And our land extends all the way up there, the hill, and somewhere at the top of the hill there is then the fence and then there comes the neighbor and also it is Castilla-La Mancha, the next autonomous region in Spain. So the joke is there, if you cross, you have to carry your passport. So autonomous regions in Spain are a special thing. They are almost like countries, which is why this joke makes sense. And this is a very nice area and the trees are looking good. And of course, there's a lot of acorns here. One of our ideas is to let our pigs roam here but for that we need to close a lot of holes in the perimeter fence for example down there where that creek leaves there are big holes so we need to fix that and also here on the other side and then this uh, is possible so this is now high on the list to fix those holes in the fence and let the 14 pigs eat a lot of acorns here in this area because all this has not been used in a very, very long time. So when we bought it in late 2017, it was already basically abandoned because it was far away from the water. So the cows and pigs of the previous owner were not very interested in this area. And since we are here, we have also not done anything. Our cows have been here a few times, but only, um, yeah, you can count them in one hand. So this is another area but we need to do this step by step and work our way up instead of scatter our resources all across. But I wanted to see how it looks like and there is something developing but it is poor and not so very interesting as forage. So this needs a lot of additional love and we will give it that love when the time comes. But the idea of making a big pond here, um, I think that is interesting because it can be one that is pretty huge 
and if it's also 3 meter 50 deep like the other one it will fill by itself and that water we can use for irrigation so that we pump it up and maybe we can even use that well but we can also use the pond directly um, and pump the water up up the hill and then use it up there to irrigate new plantings because I have this feeling that if we just dance around with the cows and hope that this will somehow develop this will certainly take a very long time so it is much better to do the thing with the sun hemp and all the other plants and make a direct intervention and for that we need the water and we need the water anyway because if there is no plant cover during summer this will not go anywhere so that is now the way of thinking to find a secure water source and plant but of course this is something for the time to come this is not for tomorrow because it needs a lot of preparation but maybe this summer we can have an excavator and let it dig probably no less than a week certainly maybe just three days the other problem is where to put the material that will be dug out but maybe we can put this material as some sort of berms so it's not probably the place but just to illustrate so make some berms on contour and put the material there that could be something instead of digging we just uh, make the berm and maybe also around here something could be done but we will see but as you can see in the past um, somehow there must have been flowing water at a higher speed because it looks a little bit strange that there is this, this channel and also here this the thing and there must be a reason why they created or why they built um, the well here and like I said it goes eight meters down and then there's the water level so we are a lot higher than the creek I would think we are at least three meters higher or maybe four so this is a little bit thinking about the future it is far from perfect but the place where we stopped working does look a little better than the place down there so managing grazing does have a positive effect because here we have a lot more grass and in this area we don't and even up there if I zoom in a little bit where it is green this is our paddock CT10 um, it extends from here to up there and goes a little bit further in that direction so a little bit in that direction until the fence this has improved and we have only done our plant grazing a few times so we just need to keep it up this area gets visited frequently by wild boars and they uproot and that seems to help but of course a lot more can be done because the growth is not so impressive it looks very nice in that sunlight now but if I pan down and you look a little bit closer you see this is definitely not a lot of forage but it is green and it makes hope so managed versus yet or until yet or until now unmanaged so we do have some standing water here this little body of water is there because the bottom is clay 
so it won't filtrate very quickly or not at all so I need to go sideways but look at the area not much is happening there down by the two oak trees there you can see a glimmer of green but this area is very very poor only the sizzles have strived during summer and around so this is the driveway that goes up to the altiplano and there in the background this there this is ct4 where we see it a lot um it's not looking much different than all the other places so let's go a little bit closer maybe we can find something uh, so there is something but it's not that impressive because simply it's not enough the soil is very hard you can see there's almost no topsoil there's stones so this needs a much more drastic intervention let's go in those of you who have been following for longer they have seen this before so very early on I took the backhoe and dug a few of these trenches just to stop the water from running down and all that I dug out was stones stones and a little bit of sand and we seeded here into packet into yeah little piles of straw so that the cows can put the seed into contact with the soil it worked so there is a video where you can see what grew here but not that much of it has come back so we let everything go to seed but I don't see a significant change there's a little bit more green around that trench there but I would guess it simply wasn't enough there are lots of acorns so we definitely should bring the pigs here But we can't bring them just here, yeah, only in this area. Well, there's a little bit more green here on that berm. So what I was trying to say is, um, we would have to fence it in completely so that it's pig safe, like the place where they are right now, or let them roam the whole area. And we are thinking about which of the two things to do. So. Currently the idea is to make sure that they cannot escape um, so the perimeter fence needs to be secure and that is probably a lot less work than to build a real fence around this paddock here. So the real fence uh, would go along the driveway and uh, yeah, this is a lot of work. So we just secure the perimeter and let them roam and dig wherever they want it doesn't really matter because all these holes have a function like that the trench here yeah? they let water infiltrate so I'm not so sure if that is because of what we did with the seeds or it is because of the cows were here and manured and did something or but yeah there is a little bit of green coming up but then of course the amount of water that we got so far is not that much let's see how this develops after next week's big rain event so three weeks after that i should come back and give you an update but for now this is not yet mission accomplished there is a lot more to do and here 
you can see what type of soil we have this is sand and when there is rain then it washes down of course this is now supposed to be the road and we need to do a few more things like that one here to trap it again but you can see this is just sand and no wonder that there's a not that there is not a lot of grasses because as far as i know they need something better than just sand so a cactus might love it and given the heat maybe cactus or cacti is actually a thing that we can explore and try because cacti as uh, one can research saved the cattle in texas one time because they provided forage and water so maybe we should add cacti to our mix at least as a pioneer species maybe that is something the type of cactus that um, i'm thinking about it's the prickly pear um it seems to be around here so along the road i can see a few and uh, i should stop and harvest them but right now they're in bad shape so there's not much to harvest but maybe in springtime i can get a few and we do an experiment it grows next to the road so it should grow here will be interesting this here is the lower part of ct4 so the other things are those trenches they are up there and also very early on we dug a swale here and let's have a closer look we also tried to establish some polovnias but that experiment failed because of lack of irrigation and also they got eaten so we were trying to establish them on that berm there that is something to be repeated you can see there is a drip irrigation line but this uh, did not work because of numerous reasons and here we have that swale which has no standing water in it but i can see that on its berm there is a little bit more green and further ahead there is a pond and i know from digging it that is lined with clay which is why the water is sitting there the plants around are missing so all this should be planted and yeah that is something we need to schedule so that it will happen and then probably this area will change shape quickly and you can see we have a water line here but it was a issue with the pressure and all that so now these problems are much better under control and i hope in spring we can do some good here in this area you might have noticed that there are only two guys and the third one isn't there anymore there is a reason i don't want to go into details you don't wash dirty laundry in public but there is a reason and things are going a little bit better now and much smoother and more calmer than before because um, sometimes one bad apple can yeah do bad with all the other apples in in the crate what i wanted to show you which is why i stopped in my speech is this here so that is very interesting there we had a bunch of wild boars uproot and eat acorns so that is how it can look like and our pigs certainly will do the very same once we allow them to come here so if there is enough of wild boars then you get the service for free but then 
you cannot sell hemp. But it's very good for the soil and for the trees. Now let's check out this area here and also the area where we plowed with the mules and then tried to seed um, sun hemp and that failed because of lack of water. So let's have a look at this first. So this continues to be bare. A little bit is trying to establish itself but I would think lack of seed makes this a challenge and the sun hemp died before it could set seed so we definitely need to reseed here but that's probably a job for early spring and yeah this is the failed experiment so now let's go in here and have a closer look and we do have a volunteer here, which is very interesting. So, this here is new. And let's see that I find a little bit better light. So, here you have it. So, this is not a grass that was here before. And I'm wondering what kind of a grass it is. And here's the other one. It is even trying to set seed. So you guys help me out what we have here. Because this seems to be a heat loving plant, but it's appearing now. And we are going into colder temperatures. Right now, by the way, it is 24 in the shade. So that sun up there um, is very strong and at night it will be single digit again. And this is moist. If I zoom in a little bit maybe camera will show you that. Yes, so you can see it. This is moist. So when the rain is rushing down here, then it will be trapped and the idea is that this helps to the left. But of course if there is only sand in there, the biomass content question, then of course this will not help a lot. But these guys make me very happy because they are part of the solution, so that is very good. Only question is what is it? I started to think it might be Sudan grass because that is what we seeded further down there and it also died because of lack of water but we do have a little bit of it left I will show you this next um, showed up in previous videos but um, let me show you so could be we'll see this by the way is how it's supposed to be but there are only a few here so these are the not yet ripe acorns and they will get brown and then fall down and then they are very yummy for the pigs and in the end this makes the nutty flavor of the ham and speaking about the ham if you haven't ordered it go ahead and do it and there will also be a special promotion regarding the chilies but I will mention this one I can show you the chilies so I will probably insert this after this as a little advertisement. So this is the area where we had the Sudan grass and it died because of lack of moisture. But what I do see here, this must be Sudan grass because it looks too tall to be something that was here before. So. This is interesting that it's coming up now. The temperature is good, yeah? like I said, 24. So <laughs> we might get some Sudangras after all in some of the places. And 
see what is in that swale. So this is now a real swale and you can see there's something growing in the water. So I will walk along this and show you a little bit more. But first here at the beginning, so you see this integrated pond does have water. And if it rains more next week, this will certainly fill up. Our Palovnia trees are looking good. Of course they have less leaves now, but I would think that they are very happy. And they are now pretty tall. So this is now definitely more the 3 meter range than it used to be. And a previous video showed you the one there in the background. So this is now almost as high as the oak trees around it. So that would be very interesting. But let's walk slowly along that swale and see what we got here. And, ah, by the way, there are Palovnias that have shed a lot of their leaves. So, let me get them into the center. The viewfinder is hard to see in the sunlight here. Um, so, and they will come back. My experience tells me that they will come back in spring. We have had these Palovnias now for a while. So I have an idea. There is not much in terms of green on that berm. So last time we had some green manure mix there. And it was better. We should bring it out again. But this would be then for spring. And here we do have the standing water. So apparently it is saturated. And by the way, down there, see, there is a green patch. And that green patch coincidence, uh, co yeah, um, matches with the idea of a water bubble. So this here causes a water bubble a little bit further down. So the two things must be connected. And the grass is there, and the ground that is a little bit looser are apparently able to grow and uh, reach it. So it is working as intended. And we had a similar effect. Um, there were some aerial shots in another video where this pond created a spring further down. So somewhere, let me go a little bit here. So somewhere there in that area, suddenly we had a lot of wet spots. But this was filled, which it is right now not. So, on the contrary, this is filled. And so that might be one of the effects. So, swales do work, even in this sandy ground. So, it's a little bit of a surprise, because I was not expecting that. So, our quest with more biomass needs to continue. And then this can be a very, very nice area. Of course, we have the infrastructure for water harvesting in place. So, let me turn around again, slowly. And you see, that tall Palovnia is almost as high as the oak trees. And it will be higher than them. And we will have a lot of them. And then I wonder when someone comes and asks questions, thinking about someone from the authorities. But I don't mind that. I will then ask the question, would you prefer a desert? And then I'm very interesting to hear. The issue is, and there was actually something that I have not told you yet. It was a big issue. Um, but I had to consult the lawyer first. So the issue with the authorities is, here in Spain, that the people who work there are not really interested in what is being done, what is good, what is bad. They just want you to comply with whatever rule, and it might be a very stupid rule, does exist so that they can tick the boxes. 
and that is not how it's supposed to be. So here we have Sudan grass and this plant looks pretty much the same as the one that I showed you earlier on. So we do have Sudan grass there next to the trench. Somehow the seed flew all the way over there. Probably a bird taking it there. I would doubt that the wind was it. But well, that's very interesting. And we have it all around. So there, there's more. And even up there. So if I zoom there a little bit. Well, you can see we do have Sudan grass. No, I'm looking for it. There it is. So, interesting. Now the question is, how tall will it grow? Because if it's very small, it's toxic. So, again, we need to be careful. And we had this idea of letting our cattle into this area so the area above it and now we need to fence this off properly so that they won't come here so the first thought was it doesn't matter there is nothing but there is and we only wanted to fix this fence here it is a little bit in bad shape because of the um, of the deer that jumped it they can definitely jump over that and then they jumped into the swale and onto here and then further down so that was very impressive but yeah we have new work but so it goes we even do have some sun hemp coming up again so i would think that is from seed that not germinated earlier and now it does. So as long as the temperatures stay high, this will grow. And then of course when it goes very low, it will stop. But it's very nice. So I'm going to check out this green spot now to see what that is made of. So this is the green spot and as you can see there is standing water and the ground does feel very very wet and what is growing here is just the grass that was here before. Um, that grass there is not very very interesting but this is what was here before. Uh, supposedly it has a very low nutrient content but this is what likes it here. So not much has changed. The only good thing is that this area is now very loose, so the soil I mean. And if we now had seeds in here, something to think about. Maybe we can fix it by quickly ordering something. Then this could be a very nice area. Question it what would be the right type of plant to seed quickly and then of course the other problem is how do we get it in contact and bury it into the soil so that the birds won't eat all the seed so there are a few questions as we don't have a tractor how we can manage this the cattle decided it's time for a rest And the one that is climbing up there is not supposed to be there, but um, yeah, apparently the fence is failing. Something to be fixed. The pond in the big swale has a good amount of water in it. It's below the step, uh, the step here. So this is just what accumulates because it is lower. And it's not 
just what rained directly into it. It's also the um, runoff from this area. But that is what the swale is supposed to catch. The swale itself is dry. Well, it's probably moist, but um, you can't see any water. But it's working, so that's a good thing. And we don't have any plants on it because the kettle is there and of course we did not seed or plant anything. That will come next once we don't need to use this place as a sacrifice paddock. But it's a bit of a shame because it's four hectares and it could be very interesting. But on the other hand, the additional biomass that we bring in by means of straw and the activity of the cattle um, will certainly do it good. So I'm expecting another miracle in spring when suddenly this springs to life like it did the last time. And probably this time it will be even more interesting. So not bad at all. <laughs>